Welcome, everyone, to Inside the Huddle on the Muskie Sports Network. I'm Tom Caudill, and joining me today is Muskingum head football coach Eric Yeager. Coach, welcome inside the huddle. Thanks for having me, Tom. You know, Coach, we wanted to get back together again and talk a little about, about what happens as soon as a game is over until your next game. So the game is ended. Muskies get the big W. Um, what is it that you and your coaching staff are doing as when that game ends? Oh, well, yeah. Like you said, after we get the win, uh, our team sings the fight song. Then we, you know, gather in the end zone and, and we talk about enjoying each win because uh, it's hard to win in this league. And um, but then uh, we're getting to work uh, right away on um, learning from the game that we just played, whether it is a, a win or a loss. And so the first thing is our graduate assistants. Uh, they take uh, the film of the game that we just played and they input it into our computer system uh, called Huddle. And uh, then they, they break the film down in terms of uh, offense, defense, and special teams, input the play calls from the game, put it in the down and distance. So then as a coaching staff, once that's all inputted, um, we're able to watch um, any play um, you know, from, from the previous game. I got to tell you, I mean, one of the most special things I see at the end of football games is the singing of the fight song. Mm -hmm. I mean, high energy. The fans get into it. The players yeah. love it. Yeah. Um, it provides some of our best emotional action pictures of the year those yeah. guys up there love that tradition which is going on with football mm -hmm. um so you get done with that you, you're excited um what about the sunday now the day after the game yeah. what what is the coaching staff doing on that day yeah sunday is a really busy day um coaches uh kind of uh get in at, at their own time a lot of guys you know mostly get in pretty early uh, on sunday and um watch film on their own um and then the different staffs, the defense, the offense, the special teams, they'll get together and, and watch the film together, go over corrections. Um, and because each position coach by that time will have graded the film. And uh, so we're watching the film at least, uh, you know, two or three times uh, b before we get to uh, going over it with our players. Uh, you know, so um, after those individual offense or defensive staff meetings, um, what we do is we uh, meet with our head trainer, Amy, and we go over our injury report, um, kind of how things are looking for the week. Uh, maybe, you know, somebody has to be limited or is out until Wednesday, that, that type of thing. Um, and, and then our, our strength and conditioning staff, they'll work our guys out. Um, we get a little run, a little bit of lift. And a after that workout, um, they'll come back and then we'll have our meetings for a couple hours. And we always start our meetings with special teams. We have a huge emphasis on special teams here. So we're watching, the obviously, the previous game of special teams, going over corrections. Uh, after the special teams meeting, we progress to our, our team meeting. And uh, we'll, introduce, we'll talk about uh, who the players of the week were. Um, we'll talk about um, the pluses and minuses and, and really what we have to do to get ready for the next game. Um, and then we go, uh, we break up to offense and defense. And then we talk specific goals and how we did, um, whether we met our defensive goals or offensive goals. And, and we have a set of 10 of those each. Um, and then we break down again one more time and we finally get into our position meetings. And so each position coach will finally watch the film and go through it uh, in more intricate detail uh, you know, with their players. I mean, Sunday, a busy day there, yeah. but so, so vital to the game plan that you're getting ready for. Coach, mm -hmm. when do you start looking at the next opponent and looking at their film? Yeah, so um, really by uh, about 5 o'clock on Sunday, then that's when we kind of turn the page when our players, uh, you know, go home and, and now we're working on our next opponent. Our graduate assistants um, have already gotten the film all ready to go for us. Even the game that they just played on Saturday, we have that ready to go with – um basically all the data so um you know we get going right right away all the way through you know sunday night watching film and then um <clears throat> then, then turn the page on, on monday you know coach when you're get when you're starting to plan out your monday tuesday wednesday thursday how is it that you break it up to say this is what we need to work on with our own team this is what we need to put in a place to get ready for the next opponent yeah, no question. So um, each each staff, um, each defensive staff, offensive staff, and special team staff kind of have 
a little bit of their own process and uh, we, we kind of you know, work a little bit differently at times. Um, but we have a base system, um, a base scheme, I should say, um, for everything. So there's going to be things that are uh, work better against certain opponents. And there's going to be things that, hey, we're, maybe we aren't going to do as much of this based on what they're trying to do to us. Um, you know, so it, it's really it's a fun part. Uh, you know, about about coaching is kind of uh, planning um, what you're going to do against your next opponent um, from an offensive side. We have I can take you real quickly through our process. Uh, you know, we on Sunday, we really focus um, on our um, or excuse me, on Monday, we focus on the run game. Uh, what, what we like the best in our run game and our first down game plan. And then we progress to a Tuesday where we really focus on what we like against this opponent in the red zone. Um, and down in the goal line and, and in the short yardage. And then on Wednesday, we focus uh, real heavy on third down. So uh, that that's kind of what we do as an offensive staff. And then as the week goes on, what do we like? Are, are we Maybe we put in a new play and we're, we're trying it out and it's, it's not really game ready. Well, we, we, don't, we don't put it in the game plan. Or maybe our quarterback doesn't like – um, you know, something doesn't real feel, feel real comfortable with something. Well, he's the one that has to make the plays on Saturday. So we, we get our players input as well um, to what we actually take into a game plan. You know, Coach, we've talked a lot about the film, the game, everything you guys are doing as a staff. One of the things I think is also important is what you and your staff do for the academic side during yes. the week. Uh, study tables. I mean, one of the things that have certainly elevated up under your tenure is the academic GPA of football. Um, how strong of how strong it is within there because they are the student athlete. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of academics and what you and your staff put into it to make sure our students here are successful? Yeah, that our guys hear it from us all the time. I mean, the number one thing, it, it, you know, the number one reason they're here is to get their degree, and uh, we do. We put in a lot of effort. The first thing that I did when I got hired um, as head coach was to get an academic coordinator in place. And, and Coach Pannon does a really awesome job with, with staying on top of our guys. But um, I really feel, and I tell recruits this and their, their families, I feel that our study hall is the best study hall you know, in the country because I feel that we put so much effort into it and we hold our guys accountable. And um, when they're in that study hall, um, which all our freshmen have to go to and then um, anybody that's at risk. So, um, they're, you know, we, we hold guys accountable if they're not doing their work, if they're, um, messing around on their phone. And, um, we, we do a lot of things. We classroom check guys and make sure guys are going to class and, and all these things we've implemented a 3.0 board, all these things that we've done. Um, it, you know, it, and again, they have to do the work, but we're there to push them and guide them. But all these things have done, I mean, and it showed in, in a big way that we we're a 3.0 um, you know, team, um, this, this past, uh, semester, um, w which was awesome. You know, one of the things I noticed at teaching classes here are the football guys sitting in the front row of the classroom, mm -hmm. engage, um, active in the classroom and making that connection with the professors that show that they care. And that's something I think under, under your leadership has really elevated it up there big time where I'm hearing on campus from other professors about the football guys in their classrooms and how their demeanor and their attitudes have changed. Oh, we appreciate that. I mean, our coaching staff has done an outstanding job of, you know, really just following up with their position uh, group and, and staying on top of these guys and they want that discipline uh, our guys need it, and it's it's really uh, you know paid off in a big way. You know, coach, you've talked to us a little bit about what you're doing to get ready for the game. We're Friday night now. The walkthrough just broke has broken down for you. What's your Friday night like as far as a coach? Good sleep, bad sleep, nervous, ready for that next day? No, it's good. I mean, normally check out a high school game or two and and uh, take that in, which is always great to to see and you know go watch you know John Glenn or or somebody like that, and it's a lot of fun to do that and just kind of um, really at that point, um, you know, the hay's in the barn. So I mean, you 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 relax, you know, a little bit. I mean, sure you have nerves, um, but you you feel good about your preparation. You feel good about um, you know your team's preparation, your staffs, and, and, and now it's you know go out and um, the guys are the ones that have to make the plays, um, and and um, they're the ones out there playing. So um, you know, from my standpoint, I you know I feel that you know our staff is prepared. So 
um, yeah, some nerves, but you know, I, I'm just, I guess, more anxious uh, to get ready to go. And, and game day is awesome. We can't oh, wait for it. Uh, exciting excitement of game day. You know, coach, I want to thank you for taking time today to to share with us that inside of what happens when a game ends and you're getting ready for the next game, taking us inside the locker room, inside your coaching staff meetings. Really appreciate that. And we'll get together again and we'll talk specifically about that Saturday morning. And when you wake up and putting on the musky logo and y'all have recruits on campus, the excitement of game day is like unparalleled to anything else um, as, as we got guide down that path in the future here. Uh, but thank you today for taking some time to talk with us. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Thanks a lot for having me, Tom. All right. Thanks a lot. And go Muskies. All right. Go Muskies.